Hi, welcome to my video on extra problems number seven. In this video, I'm going to solve this equation uh, for 3 pi over 2 less than or equal to alpha less, or sorry, less than alpha less than or equal to 2 pi. And we're going to solve the equation as sine of alpha over 2 plus cos alpha minus 1 equals 0. And before we start solving, notice this is 3 pi over 2, so that's a 90. Pi over 2, 90 times 3 is 270. Less than alpha, less than or equal to 2 pi is 360. So, if we, this is alpha, so if we take alpha and divide by 2, and divide 270 by 2, we get 135. And we divide 360 by 2, we get 180. So that means that uh, alpha over 2 is in the second quadrant. So that means, if it's in the second quadrant, that means the sine of alpha over 2 is positive. So it's in the second quadrant, sine is positive in the second quadrant. Hence, the equation for the sine of alpha over 2 is the square root. Let me do a big square root. 1 minus cos alpha over 2 as positive. Again, alpha over 2 is between 135 and 180. So that's positive. And we do cos alpha minus 1 equals 0. So we have a square root here. So what we'll do, we'll isolate the square root. So we'll do 1 minus cos alpha over 2 equals negative cos alpha plus 1. Move the cos and the 1 to the right side, change the signs. Now that we have a square root, what we'll do, we'll square both sides. And the square root of 1 minus cos alpha over 2 squared is 1 minus cos alpha over 2. And we're going to square this binomial, so we square binomial by the pattern. It's the first term squared, so negative cos alpha squared is cos squared alpha and we multiply the these two which is the negative cos alpha and double it so it's a negative so that's a negative two that's a negative cos alpha doubled negative two cos alpha and the last term squared is one we could have done this by doing one cos, or sorry, cos alpha plus one times if I say it right, negative cos alpha plus 1 times negative cos alpha plus 1 and do the FOIL. But the pattern that I've learned is square the first term, get the product of these two and double it and square the last one. Now we have it over 1. We have a fraction, so let's put this over 1 and cross multiply. I'm cross multiplying 2 by this because this is a quadratic and I want the quadratic to be on the left side. So 2 times this term becomes 2 cos squared alpha. Uh, 2 times that's a 4 cos alpha. 2 times 1 is 2. Multiply these two and we get 1 minus cos alpha. And now we isolate all the terms to, because we've got a quadratic. Move everything to the left side, so 2 cos squared alpha minus 4 cos alpha. Bring this one over and make it a plus cos alpha plus 2. Bring the 1 over and make it a minus. And that simplifies to 2 cos squared alpha minus 3 cos alpha plus 1. Now if I want, I can let the, uh, cos alpha be A, 
And so I can write cos alpha equal a and do 2a squared minus 3a plus 1. We want to do it that way. And now I got a quadratic, then I can see if I can factor. So let's see. Hopefully if it was not factorable, then I have to do the quadratic formula. It is factorable, but is it easy to factor? So 2a squared is 2a times a. Factors of 1 out of 1 and 1. The product is positive and the sum is negative, so it must be two negatives. So we have 2a minus 1 equals 0, or we have a minus 1 equals 0. 2a equals 1, divided by 2, a is a half. And right here, a is equal to 1. So a is a half, so that means we have, cos, oh, I got an x there, I should have alpha. So cos alpha is a half, and cos alpha equals 1. And a half is in the take triangle, and we put alpha here. So cos is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So this side here becomes root 3. By Pythagorean special rate triangle, that means that this angle is 60. So that means this is in relation to 60. So we have, where are we? We're going to add sugar to coffee. And cos is positive in 1 and 4. So let's put it in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. It's a 60 degree angle, so quadrant 1, 60. So that gives us alpha is 60 degrees there and is in quadrant 4, reference angle 60. So the rotation here is alpha is 360 minus 60. So that's 300. And we have to pick the angles out from alpha, <coughs> excuse me, alpha is from uh 270 to 360, so therefore one of the answers alpha is 300. And I'll convert that to radians. So we take the 300 and multiply by pi over 180. Zeros cancel. 6 into that is 3, 6 into that is 5. So alpha is 5 pi over 3. And we have to deal with this one, cos of alpha is 1. That means alpha is on the circle right here. So that means 1 is right there, so alpha is 0 degrees. But I look up here, I can't have 0. i got to go between uh, 270 and 360. So I can Zero is one answer, but if I rotate all the way around, I get 360. So that means alpha is 360 degrees, which means in radius, 360 is 2 pi. So the two answers are 5 pi over 3 and 2 pi will satisfy this equation. You can solve these answers in here and work them out to see if you're right. To check, take the 2 pi, solve it in and work it out to see if you get zero to make sure. So that's a solving equation, just extra problem. The more problems you can do, the better you get. And this brings the end of the videos in this unit. And again, like all my videos, if you like my video, click the like button, click the subscribe button, visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained, just one word. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.